you might have seen, you might not have seen some big news in politics in Europe. Um, a country that had been flirting with the prospect of maybe giving up their democracy, maybe heading toward a more authoritarian form of government, something more like Hungary or even Russia, uh, has decided not to go that way. In Poland this weekend, the Polish people turned out in huge, huge numbers. Over 74% voter turnout in Poland. That's bigger turnout than what was previously their most important election ever when they voted out the Communist Party in 1989. The Polish people turned out this weekend in unprecedentedly gigantic numbers, and they voted out the hard-right party that had been the governing party there, the so-called Law and Justice Party. And so it's, it's just, I mean, whether or not you care about Poland itself and its, its future, it's an important thing for Europe. It's an important thing, particularly for, say, the European Union's support of Ukraine in Russia's war on Ukraine. But it also helps us get our arms around this larger international project that even we in our country are subject to right now, right? We have, we have seen authoritarian, anti-democratic movements and leaders rise all over the world in recent years, including here at home. But there has been electoral pushback, some notable electoral pushback in important countries. We have seen for example, Donald Trump voted out of office in this country resoundingly in the United States, 2020. We saw Jair Bolsonaro in Brazil voted out of power resoundingly in 2022. Earlier this year in Spain, we saw the hard right party there rejected unexpectedly by voters. And, and now this weekend, we have just seen Poland's very hard right law and justice party voted out. And it doesn't mean that there isn't still rising authoritarianism all around the world, but it does mean that in instances like these, in big, important countries with mature democracies, we are seeing big voter pushback against Trump-type or Viktor Orban-type leaders. And authoritarians, or would-be authoritarians, they don't generally take well to elections voting them out of office. That's part of why they try to undermine democracy full stop. In the case of both Donald Trump and Jair Bolsonaro, we saw mass violence after they were voted out. We saw their supporters storming the Capitol to try to keep them in power after they lost election. And so eyes are on Poland now for any kind of potential eventuality like that or any other kind of you know, authoritarian rule by force shenanigans to try to undo the Polish election result from this weekend. But for now, that is an important result in Europe. It looks like another win for small D Democrats against the admittedly still rising authoritarian tide.